PEMF works like a cellular battery charger. This is a simple explanation of a complex process, but it's very consistent with many observations and results. Pulses create a brief, intense voltage around each cell. Cells and internal cell structures, like the mitochondria, grab some of this energy and store it. This stored energy enables them to replenish their working reserves, which in turn enables them to do more of their healing job faster. These images of blood on a slide, before exposing the same slide to PEMF, show two distinct changes. First, the red blood cells don't stick together as much. The decreased adhesion enables them to flow more freely and do a better job of delivering oxygen throughout the body. Note the brighter halo on the second slide. This increased halo shows that pulsing changes the way light bends around the cells and suggests a stronger energetic field surrounding each cell. This stronger field appears to make it harder for apparent pathogens to get close to the cells, suggesting better pathogen invasion resistance resulting from each cell's elevated energetic level. These energetic explanations speak to the consistently reproducible phenomenon which accompany PEMF exposure. Accelerated wound healing is very common with recovery in about a third of the time. Burns heal dramatically faster with almost no pain. Non-union fractures heal. Frequently there are beneficial shifts in neurological symptoms, depression, tremors, etc., which persist for several days. These easily producible and well-documented observations illustrate that cellular energetics are a significant cofactor in human healing. Likewise, they suggest that emerging energetic PEMF devices are a compelling therapeutic tool in a wide range of conditions. The common question about whether PEMF is good for a particular condition reflects a near universal misunderstanding that a disease is the result of cells not working the way they're supposed to. Cells vary, as does the tendency for them not to work in different ways. The combination of cells and the ways that they end up not working eventually creates symptoms which are in turn labeled disease. Energy often helps cells work better, and hence is beneficial in a wide range of conditions. In some cases, extra energy helps the body overcome unknown cause and conditions resolve. It would be great if this was always the case, but unfortunately it's not. All of health is driven by cellular function, and cells use energy. Cells are batteries. The cell membrane that separates the inside of the cell from the outside of the cell separates a pH differential between the inside and the outside of the cell. This difference creates the electricity that drives the millions of devices in the cell membrane, including hormone receptors and virtually all of the roles of the cell within the body. When this process breaks down, cell function degreases, cellular energetic processes break down, and sickness results. The mitochondrial power plants within the cell rely on similar mechanisms, so a breakdown in the cellular energetic process creates a critical compromise in all health functions.